Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. P question. You have a fabric tenant that contains a data warehouse. You need to load rows into a large type 2, slowly changing dimension, SCD. The solution must minimize resource usage. Which TSQL statement should you use? A. Update and insert. B. Merge. C. Truncate table and insert D. Create table as select. If you said merge like I did, thinking it's the correct answer, well, we're both wrong. Unfortunately, merge is not yet supported in Microsoft Fabric. But don't worry, it's coming soon. Merge is expected to be generally available in 2025, so keep an eye out for updates, because once it arrives, it'll be the best solution. Until then, the correct workaround is update and insert. Now, let's look at why the other options are incorrect. Option C, truncate table and insert. This one's a no-go because truncate table wipes out all the rows and resets the table to an empty state. A type 2 SCD needs historical data to be retained, and if you truncate, it deletes everything, including your history. That's a big no-no for type 2 SCDs, since we need to maintain inactive rows for tracking changes. Option D. CTAS creates an entirely new table by copying query results. And that's the problem. It doesn't do row-level insert or update operations on the existing table. Plus, you'd need extra steps to replace or rename the table, making things unnecessarily complex and resource-heavy. So for now, stick with update and insert as your solution. And remember to keep an eye out for when Merge officially drops. See you with another question.